Okay, so let's look how we can save curves as a presets actually and apply them often. This is will help you to create this unique style look for the image and after you can just without even playing apply and preload them. And also I will have it my um, some curves that I created special coloring curves um, down below and you can go ahead and click right there go to my pattern website and download it from there and use it. So hopefully that will kind of speed up your process. Also remember by using curves you can automate it so it will be much easier. You can click and says hey I want the look like more older style. You can just click on the action it's perform and preloaded those actions uh, presets for you. But let's go ahead and look how we can create. So the curve right here for example coloring I want to apply a little bit more older authentic kind of look and to do this I will go use it create a new curve and I will go switch this curve to actually color. So right here in this case we will affect only the color channel we want to have it luminosity. Um, so next I want let's just for now rename this and I'm going to rename this as um, Cine Curve. So I know it's kind of cinema look on this for me. And we'll go to switch the blue. We'll take lower blue, for example, bring a little bit up. And you can see right here in the shadows, we're adding blue. And we'll take on the middle dot and bring down. Kind of create a warmish yellow color. So you can see already. Nice applying. Next, let's go to the red channel, selecting from here. And we'll bring bottom just a little bit to create this cyanish offset. And we'll take and restore a little bit back our red. If you want, you can bring higher, but just overall, we'll just bring a little bit up. So again, this is our overall color. We could go in the green and just play a bit with the magenta or a greener color, but I think maybe just a bit on a green. So overall, this is going to give it this, you can see a nice kind of look, older, more applied to rear sun to this lighting, what we want to do. So when we're done with this, I want to actually save this curve. So next time, for example, I don't want to go and click on those dots. I would just want to apply to image or, for example, I want to apply to several image. To save, we'll just go to the menu right here where we have hamburger kind of. Click on this and easy just says save preserve. So let's go ahead and click on this. And you can see right here we have it already in directory where you want to save. I'll just name Cinema Curve and I'm going to click Save. So right now let's go ahead and delete it. Next time when you create new curve, you same you can go inside and it just says select the curve. And let's see what's happening. Notice I did not change mode. So I have load, click my curve preloading and it is applied. But notice what's happening here. We, it does not apply change our mode. So for this we actually need to go and switch to the color mode. But overall the otherwise all our channels as we're creating for the blue and red and green they all save and preloaded those positions. So if I want to animate these automations, put it inside, I want to be sure that I'm changing my blending mode, create new curve, preloading my preset and changing blending mode. So on this also when you will go ahead and use it some of those presets that I have it for you in collection, be sure you do this. You use it, preload them and be sure you change the color mode to the, um, sorry, blending mode to the color. This way you will have the same result. Thank you for watching this tutorial.